So my name is Amani K. Brown. Uh, what else? I don't know what I go by anymore. Infamous IKB, IKB, Little Magic, Little Magic City when I'm in Atlanta. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm from D.C., um, born and raised, um, no stranger to Atlanta, and yeah. Well, what, kind, what, what do you do? Oh, what do I do? I'm an artist who happens to tattoo. Um, I tattoo full-time to pay the bills and drive other things, um, run an uh, artist collective of sorts in D.C., Artistic Soul, and um, do all things art, because okay. it's fun. It's fun. How long you been doing that? Um, I see art I've been doing since I can remember. Um, I've been raised in it. My mom is an artist. My brother did fashion design. So I had no choice. And I've been tattooing. I'm in my fifth year. So look out for little magic. Well, what got you into tattooing? Tattooing, um, I guess what got me into tattooing, um, was the fact that I went and got tattooed and as I got tattooed and just realized the connection of it being art on skin I figured I could do that too so um, as I got tattooed over the years started asking around asking questions about how to get into the industry this that and the third um, just to see what would happen on skin and there you have it Chris Mensa at Pins and Needles picked me up and the rest was history all right that's good um, so what are you, why are you an artist? What is it that inspires you or makes you be an artist? The thing that inspires me to be an artist is to be able to do what I want to do. Um, it's probably the one industry that you can stick out like a sore thumb and everybody appreciates it as opposed to not. So I get to stick out like a sore thumb. I get to be completely true to myself and do it all day, every day, and inspire those around me as I'm being true to myself. What more could you ask for in life? So, What are, what are your preferred mediums? Um, my preferred mediums are anything messy. So anything I can put my hands in, paint, charcoal, anything where I can, you know, I can get messy, I can actually feel it, become a part of it, have fun doing it. Um, that mostly I work with um, with acrylic, um, mostly liquid acrylic and, uh, and water, so that way, you know, it feels like finger painting and water painting, all that good stuff. Um, and then, of course, you know, skin art. Okay. So tell us about this piece up here and what does it mean? So, this is my piece. Yay! Indian Pussy Goes Green. Indian Pussy, that little girl right there, she's my character, my alter ego. Um, she's just a little fun-loving cat. She's very random. Um, and since the theme was Go Green, and as I'm experimenting with a fashion line and all of this good stuff, and I try to recycle and pra try to practice Buddhist principles, I thought it was fitting to make sure that it was the character that went green and not any other statement. So um, it's the beginning of her going green. It's a good start. Okay. Who is this character? Who is this cat? What is that cat about? That cat is silly. Um, like I said, her name's Indian Pussy. Um, Tokyo 13 in D.C. He's a, a, a graphic designer. Um, designed her for me when I started my apprenticeship as a gift. Um, since then, she's been my logo. And since we've started branding, I just decided to bring her to life. Um, probably in a comic book, The Misadventures of Indian Pussy. So people get to know me um, without being threatened by the fact that I'm a tattoo artist first. So, less intrusive way. What are your um, immediate goals with your artwork? My immediate goals with my artwork? Um, to show as much as I can. Um, to aspire at least, I guess, I want to say, let's see, last year was one person. Three people in a year um, to be able to do what they want to do in life. Um, the money will follow, so I don't really have any financial goals outside of just being able to sustain um, and do it well. But, yeah, just to inspire the next person to be able to do the same thing. Okay. Besides the um, Mono Mono Art Show, August 14th, when, when is your next event? Let's see, we got tons of them coming up um, in D.C. So if you see this and you're in the D.C. area right now, we have Temporium going on. It's a pop-up shop that's on until August 15th, actually. Um, and uh, it's there. It's, it's just a, a collaborative of... Um, of local designers um, who don't have their own space, so it gives a, a space for a, a limited amount of time. Um, there's also um, 
the In Street Arts Festival, so we'll be out doing um, do-it-yourself custom monies and, and keys and scullies and all that good stuff and just out painting and just, you know, inspiring other people to do the same thing, meeting kids. Um, so those are the immediate events and everything else, I don't know, like <laughs> September. <laughs> um, people want to reach you, how do they do that? If people want to reach me, you can always reach out at www.artisticsoul.com. That's artistic, S-O-L-E, dot com. Um, we have a quick contact there. You can also reach us on Facebook, um, backslash IP brand, or on Twitter, Artistic Soul. Okay. Thank you very much. Yay!